Hey guys, I have tried to record this video a hundred times, at least. I keep getting interrupted by my family or my dogs, which I guess honestly are the same thing. But still, here we go, 101. Let's hope we get lucky this time. Okay, number one. Will we see glimpses of Greer in the spinoff to know she's okay and kicking ass? Yes, we will. Linus will also have a role, but I can't really get into that without giving it all away. So let's just keep it simple and say yes. This is not the end for them. Uh, next question. Did you expect Linus to be so well received? And the answer to that is no, I did not. I had already tried my hand at a bookish kind of nerdy hero with Henry in the Iranian series. And he was definitely not as well received as Linus has been. I have waited years to write my ginger hero, so I put a lot of thought into him. And I am thrilled that you guys seem to love him as much as I do. Uh, which feeds into the next question. When did you decide to change your leading man? That has always been the plan. Uh, I've been asked this a lot, especially by people in this group. And I think some of you wonder if the fact that Linus is so well liked influenced my decision and kind of had me swap teams midstream, but no, it was always going to be Linus. Um, it's funny to think about it now, but months before I started writing the book, I was blowing up my best friend's phone. I was so worried that I couldn't pull this off because you guys had to be invested in Greer and Boaz as a couple. And you had to believe there was potential there before that could kind of be ripped away and you could see who she was really meant to be with and why that relationship wouldn't work even though you know, that's what she thought she wanted at the time. But Greer, if you think about it, if you read book three and you go back through one and two, you'll see that all through those books, Greer was kind of like, you know, this is the guy I've always wanted. This is my ideal happily ever after. I want Boaz. But the reality of having him was a lot different than how she thought it was going to go. And if you really, really look at it, she didn't fully commit herself to that relationship. There's always a part of Greer that wondered if it was going to work. And if you are so caught up in, will this work? Is it worth it? Can we do this? Then, you know, you're not really falling in love. You're not having that full romantic experience. She was trying to go too far with her head and not far enough with her heart. So yes, Linus was always going to be her hero. Um, and I, I've had so much fun writing him and writing them as a couple and especially Wooly. I love that. So many elements I've been wanting to write came together in this series. And that is one of the big reasons why I love it so much. And the last question is, who is the spinoff about? And I saw you guys being sneaky and voting that up higher in the polls. So if you don't want to know, this is your chance. Go ahead, kill the video. Go back to whatever you were doing. Hope you have a great day. But if you are curious and you want to stick around, then here we go. The spinoff, as many of you have already figured out, is about Amelie. She's going to be our narrator for this next leg of the journey. Um, it's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun for me, redeeming her in your eyes. I already see the arc. I'm already sympathetic to her because, gah, girl's going through a lot. She's been through a lot and it's just going to get worse, honestly. Um, I can't really get into the, into the details about it yet because it ties into the end of Greer series, 
but I will tell you that romantically, she does have two paths and she will get to choose which one she walks. Um, one will be when she gets to her new city, settles in with her new identity, she's gonna meet a really nice guy who is gonna have no clue about her past. And so their relationship is going to be really easy, really fun. It's going to be everything she's ever wanted out of a relationship. But the flip side is her other option, as a lot of you have already guessed, will be Midas. And Midas already knows her. He has seen her at her lowest point, and he knows exactly who and what she is. And he's not going to cut her any slack. He is a constant reminder of where she came from, what she did, all of that ugliness in her past. So she has to choose which guy is going to kind of help her reach the point in her life where she wants to be, where she's the person she wants to be, doing the job she wants to do, making a difference, all this stuff, and the guys are going to be rolled into that. They are very representative of the choices she has to make in her life. So I'm really looking forward to that series. I cannot wait to see the covers because the photo shoot, oh my gosh, it was just fabulous. But since I have made it to the end of the video this time, I'm not going to jinx myself and keep talking. I am going to skidoo.